awesome olive harvest technology. Olive harvest technology. The farmers use special modern technology machines to harvest the olives in the extreme plantation type. These machines are designed with accurate shapes without distorting the plants and sorting the olives from the leaves. These machines are built with independent and constant unloading capacity. The lifter ensures very few damages during the olive accumulation to the bucket. The installed sensors in the machines give an accurate demonstration to the machines during the harvesting process. These operations are managed by the drivers through a control panel and cameras. Coming to the second type, the harvesting process is almost carried out manually. The machine opens the umbrella and the workers are supposed to castigate the trees until it throws the olives into the umbrella. This is not the only method to get the olives, but there are a series of traditional methods too, like the usage of equipment, etc., and throwing the olives on the ground. Although these methods are easier, but demand a great distance between the trees, the workers ensure all safety precautions for safe harvesting from wounds and minor injuries. It's estimated and observed the olive trees can have a lifespan of 13 to 20 years in the extreme plan, while the second plan gives certainty of 40 years. Spain is the foremost producer of olive in the world. Each year, the growth rate increases on a basis of 15%, while Italy comes second on the production list. Olive oil making process. The olive that's perished can produce oil, but with defects. Therefore, for quality production, the olives are exactly harvested on the date. By adopting a traditional method, the workers use a milestone to get an olive paste through that they get the olive oil. Then the paste is kept under 30 to 40 minutes until the milestone, as you can see in the video. Next, the same paste is put in a short grinder that gives another raw paste of olive, which produces less quality of oil but it has a less ripe taste. Once the grinding process is over, the paste is placed on fiber discs so that it can be stacked on the top of each paste. Then, to a great extent, pressure is applied on these discs, which creates a compulsion on these discs to flow the vegetal liquid in the shape of oil. The traditional method was to put this oil in water where the theory of gravity was adopted, because upon putting the oil in the water, the oil floats on the water, but now this traditional process is replaced by centrifugation. The centrifuge method creates two distinct ways where one way flows the water and the other flows the olive oil. But it's cautiously taken into consideration that the vegetal water should not contaminate the olive oil because this can severely increase the probability of organic degeneration of microorganisms. At times, the produced olive oil is even filtered for eliminating solid elements. The labels also showcase the point that the oil has not been filtered, therefore there may be chances of not having an exact taste. 
This non-filtered oil demand is also increasing because of the consumer need for products that are perceived to be less processed. Olive Cultivation Olives are the most grown crop in the entire world. The famous and widely used olive oil is produced by grinding and extracting the olives chemically and mechanically. Among the olives, the green olive is said to be very enriched with olive oil and can produce a great quantity of it. The process starts with a planting of saplings that are chosen concerned with their type. It's getting common with each day to find extreme and less intensive olive plantations. In extreme situations, the plantation is carried at a distance of 6 meters only, while the plant is tied with stick support to stand still. The plantation with this tactic is done to provide the plants with a better air pass. The distinguisher in this type of plantation is the head shape of these plants. This is how a total of around 2,000 trees are planted per acre, while in the intensive, it doesn't go above 600 only. The plantation of trees should be grown in summer or autumn. The trees usually start to give the fruit at the age of three to five years. Its harvesting season starts when the fruits adopt a green color, but still, most of the farmers said that the quality is seen when they turn black and nature itself drops them from the branches. Hey viewers, you can also watch our other videos where we've uploaded various farming videos of fruits and vegetables and animal farming too. We're making continuous efforts to upload regular videos and educate our viewers on farming. Olives are cultivated mainly with two methods as discussed above. But besides these methods, cuttings and layers are also grown and this method is also widely used in various countries of the world. However, better growth results are expected from the methods that are shown in this video. Furthermore, the cultivation of olive oil through the usage of modern types of machinery resembles to be much easier for the farmers now. As discussed previously, they can easily plant up to 2,000 olive oil plants in a very short duration. Nowadays, several countries around the world are trying to enter the cultivation of olive oil because this is an exhilarating industry. Due to the increasing demand, the olive oil industry is seeing rapid growth. The oil itself is a complementary product in various sectors including daily households and the pharmaceutical industry where it's used for medical purposes. In recent years, its usage in the manufacturing of dietary supplements and pharmaceuticals has been observed to a much greater extent.